Hello. In this session, we will look at how you can create an IAM user group. And then uh, we will also look at how we can add our users to these uh, respective IAM user groups. Now, once again, what are IAM user groups? IAM user groups are nothing but these are your collection of users. And um, the advantage of creating an IAM user group is that it allows us to easily manage the permissions for the user. So imagine you have 100 users. So instead of individually, creating these users and attaching the permissions to each of these users one after the other which can be very difficult to manage we can simply create a group add the permission to that group and just add these hundred users to that group so it's basically a, a one-time task we don't have to like go to each of the user and set the permissions for the user we can do it at a group level likewise if you want to like you know change the modify the permissions you can simply remove the user from one group add it to another group which will uh, basically you know give the necessary permissions for that user so in the last session we looked at an introduction to your im groups so once again it is simply your collections of users now in this session we will look at how you can create the im user group and then we will also look at how you can add the user to the im user group once again before we start off with this session please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so let's get started with this now in the last session if you can recall we had created a couple of users so we had created uh, user 1 and user 2 and in that example what we did was we went ahead and attached the permissions directly so here you can see attached to via it says directly so we did not make use of any group we created the user and then we attached the permissions directly to this uh, user now this is not how we generally work when we talk about creating your users. We always make use of a group, like a developer group, which will have your developers, your operations group, which will have all of your operations. You will have the cloud engineer group, which will have all of your cloud engineers, and then so on. Now, how do we create your groups? So again, here on the left hand side, you should be able to see user groups. And by default, you will not have any groups. All right, so you will have to create a user group and then attach the permissions for this group so here you can see we don't have any groups so to create your groups you can click on create group and give a name to this so let's call this as developer group and if you have existing users you have the option of selecting the user that you want to this group if not at a later point also you can attach a user to this group so let's say we will attach this user one to this developer group and then you're defining the permissions now here again the permissions will be applicable at the group level and not at the user level and you can attach the permissions when you're creating the group or you can do it at a later point also so let's say for example uh, we will give access to the s3 service so let's say we will give s3 uh, full access just for the sake of example and then we'll click on create group so this will create a group for us and we have one user within this group now if you go and check the user and if you click on that user we should be able to see a group defined as well so now um, i have a few policies which are attached directly and also i have a group and within this group we have the permission which is your s3 full access now what we can do is any user that need access to this s3 service we can simply create those users and we can start adding that user to this group so that the permissions will be applicable to all those users so this is basically the advantage of making use of your user groups instead of attaching the permissions directly to the user so let's create one more group so we'll go to create group and uh, let's call this as uh, uh, devops group just for the sake of example and uh, let's say we will add user 2 to that group and uh, let's say we will give access to vpc okay just for the sake of example so vpc and uh, create group so this will again create a different group for us which will have a different set of permission so my developer group has uh, s3 full access and user one belongs to that group and my devops group has uh, vpc full access and user two belongs to my uh, devops group so likewise we can create multiple users and we can start adding these users to the respective groups which allows you to easily manage the permissions now let's say i want to add uh, user one to devops group as well so you can add one user to multiple groups all right it is 
possible. So let's say uh, we will go to the DevOps group and here you can see on the right hand side you see add users and you can see the users who are not part of the group you should be able to see the list. So here user 1 is not part of the group and we'll click on add users and now both user 1 and user 2 is part of my DevOps group and here on the right hand side you can see so user 1 belongs to two groups now if you want to see what all group it belongs to you can click on that and it belongs to my developer group all right and also the devops group whereas my user 2 belongs to only one uh, group which is my devops group so likewise let's say now i want to add user 2 to my uh, developer group i can do that so i'll just go to add users i'll select the user and um, just add the user and now my both the users are part of both the groups so you can see user one belongs to the developer group and devops group as well as my user two belongs to the devops group as and the developer group as well likewise if you want to remove the user from a group we can do that also so we can go to the respective uh, group and let's say i want to remove this user and you can see here remove user so managing the permission now becomes very easier all i have to do is uh, add the users to the group, remove it from one group, add it to another group and I can start defining the permissions for the users. So this is how we can create your IAM user groups and we can start attaching the users to the respective groups to easily manage the permissions for those users. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.